Okay, so this is part two of uh, tuning Voya. I've done my cuts. Um, I've got this pile of cards that'll stay. It's not the final version because I need to count the wolves that are inbound. I've got these cards to replace. And I've already pulled some. So I already placed Kessig Wolf Run with City Brass. That cut has been made. The next cut actually involves a change to Kenrith. And while I'm at it, I'll do a change log. So one of the things about Voya is he cannot steal cards from any of my active decks. Um, I've got an inactive deck that I stole from, but none of my active decks. Well, if I find a card that works out better in Voya than it does in my active deck, in this case Kenrith, then I'm going to make that change. So, there's actually two changes I'm going to make to, to Kenny. And I'll show you what they are. And then I'll keep going with uh, the next change. So, first up, I obtained a Fable Passage. So, yes, the, the video is about Voya, but I have to veer off into Kenrith. So, Evolving Wilds comes out because it puts the land into play tapped, even though I love this Bob Ross art. I don't like my lands coming into play tap, and I always forget that it does. Fabled Passage, so still, I go find a basic land, but if I have four more lands at the time it resolves, then I get to untap the land, so therefore it does not effectively come into play tapped. So Fabled Passage is better than involving wilds in Canada. The next change is. I'm taking away Kenrith's Guardian of Faith. So Guardian of Faith is here um, as uh, Wrath Protection, um, Mass Exile Protection. So somebody cast Merciless Eviction. I can flash in Guardian of Faith and any number of other target creatures phase out. That was the idea. And it works out pretty good. But, to be honest, with the possibility I will have Masquid Nexus, I kind of need something else. And I was going through my collection, and I found Glorious Protector. So Glorious Protector, she's similar to Guardian of Faith, especially if I foretell her. Uh, flash Flying, when she enters battlefield, exile any number of non-angel creatures I control until she leaves the battlefield. So, if I have Masquid Nexus out, she's blanked, because all my creatures would be angels. Um, in Kenrith, Kenrith only has four angels, and one of them is a shapeshifter. So, because he can tolerate the, um, the angel clause more than Voya can if I have Masquid Nexus in play, I'm switching them. So, Voya is going to get Guardian of Faith. And Kenrith is going to get Glorious Protector. I think that'll work out much better for both of the decks. The next change is, so if I'm getting Mask of Nexus, I want a way to find it, right? Well, I'm playing green, red, white. And one of those colors has an incredibly efficient way of finding it. But that card is in another deck. Actually, copies of that card are in a few other decks. But there's only one deck that I have that I already have a card that I can replace with it that doesn't hurt that deck too much. That deck, of course, being Rafik of the Many. That card being Mind Tutor. So if Rafik 
loses his enlightened tutor. The only artifact I have in the deck is a swift foot boots. Which, yeah, it's nice to find it, but it's not end all be all. It's not absolutely necessary. So, if I give Rafik an idyllic tutor, okay, so it costs two colors more, it's sorcerer speed, not instant speed, but it puts it in my hand, it puts the enchantment in my hand. Um, so I lose some flexibility because I cannot find an artifact. I drop from instant speed to sorcery speed and it costs more mana but um, I think for free could work out fine so that's those are the two changes those are cards I'm stealing from other decks for Voya so Voya is going to get Malign Tutor in anticipation of the Masculine Nexus he's going to get Guardian of Faith as a uh, third way of protecting the team in case of a Wrath and some other cards I thought of is, so I've got an inactive deck that's in construction. I can take away the Heroic inv Intervention from that inactive deck. And then I have Semester's End, Guardian of Faith, Ghost Way, and Heroic Intervention. Of course, Heroic Intervention does fuck all against Merciless Eviction, but it helps against other rats. So we'll see if that uh, stays in or not. Eternal Witness. I'm going to start doing more toolbox effects. This deck did not have an eternal witness. Uh, it will now. Asceticism. If I take out Eladimary, I still want a way of uh, uh, protecting my creatures. Just uh, without an instant, just on the board. So asceticism costs 5, but it gives my creatures hexproof and I can regenerate them. So I think that's worth trying. I realized I do want a scroll rack after all. I had cut it because I didn't think that I would want to uh, sift through the top of my library so much. But in actual play, so if I drew three or four cards from Voya, if a lot of them were cards I don't need at the time, or there's a card I really need and I want to dig for it, I can dig for a scroll rack. So that's going to go in, even though Titania Song will shut it off if I have to play it. Of course, if I have to play Titania Song, I've got bigger problems in front of me than Skorak is helping. Speaking of that, uh, I've got this Fracturing Gust. I have a original Shadowmoor Fracturing Gust too, but it's not foil, and it's not this pretty. So, instant speed, blow up all artifacts and enchantments. Eh, mine too, but I gain life. Uh, against my against Cube's Eldrazi deck. This will be pretty damn good because he plays a boatload <clears throat> an absolute grip of mana rocks in order to ramp out his big bastard old Trazi. So this will take the wind out of the sails of that deck. Uh, Genesis Wave. So I've got all these mana elves. I've got Wirewood Channeler, Priest of Titania, Arch Druid. They can provide me with a lot of mana. I don't have a lot of mana sinks. I don't have a lot of way of using a, uh, a big chunk of mana. So I need something. Genesis Wave is going to be one of those somethings. Lissalan of Bowmaster. Flying is a problem for me. Um, and again, this argues for me keeping an Aluren. So I can flash into play the Bowmaster. And then probably in my hand, I would have two or three elves. So flash him into play, and then flash into play the other two or three elves. And I can deal with some of the uh, flying creatures that are coming at me. Don't know if it's going to work, but I want to try it. Heritage Druid, because I need more mana elves. Hurricane. So X damage each creature to the flying in each creature. This can be a finisher. If my life is a little bit higher than everybody else's, I can cast Hurricane to end the game. Not likely. <laughs> uh, Really unlikely, but at least it will deal with the flying creatures if there's a bunch of them. It also gets around with flying creatures of Shroud, Hexproof, don't matter. There's a storm on the horizon that's going to take all you bastards out. And then, I've always loved this guy. I quit playing with him years ago because he just wasn't that efficient. Here, I want to see if he works. Um... 
Hubie way of doing pinpoint damage to things that you need to kill. Uh, you'll be a bit of a mana sink for the, the big mana that I can generate sometimes. Yeah, I need the red for it too, but let's say I have six elves in play. Tap Priest of Tania, you get six mana. Um, if I only have three red, I can still pump some of it and uh, start doing damage to creatures, or I can finish them off. So, after combat, if a few of my opponent's creatures only have one life or two, finish them off and exile them. That's it. Those are the changes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's twelve for twelve. Time to sleep it up and see if it works.